Yo, so this is just a little update to my uh, to my farm setup. Just turned the basement into uh, the little farm at the moment, and um, got a little extractor fan up in the corner, probably got the hot air out. I mean, it seems to do the good uh, a good job because you know I've been mining now for a long time. I actually had this these rigs t all turned off. Um, I've done a bit of. Um, Reshuffling around because I had a few cards die. I've got four RX 580s at the moment running on the MSI B 450. Just uh, each each motherboard's only got one stick of RAM. This is a 1200 watt power supply unit, and I believe that is uh, I think it's an 8 or a 750, maybe an 850. It's like the fan's not even spinning on it because it's not even pulling out that much power. But I believe that I could run up to, off this uh, setup, I could run up to 2000 watts uh, with this rig because of the power supply units. And I believe that's rated platinum. Same thing with this, this is a platinum power supply unit. So it's actually quite efficient running it at this, uh, you know, watt draw. I think it's only, the whole system is only pulling something like 400 watts. Um, I'm mining a lithium. This is uh, quite an interesting rig I've got at the moment. I've got a AX760 Platinum PSU and I've also got a gold rated 750 EVGA PSU and I've just got like a uh, like a PSU splitter cable that runs two PSUs in dual config. Uh, so I can get, I believe it's uh, about, um, it's about 1510, like 1510 1, watts I can pull. And then this, again, this system's not really pulling too much electricity at the moment. But I can run, you know, I can run like more P, uh, PCIe cables and if I ended up getting like, you know, 3090s or 3080s, then I could probably power all of them off, off these setups. Um, and then this rig... It's uh, currently decommissioned, uh, waiting for more GPUs. I'll probably be looking at uh, picking up some more GPUs at some point. Um, and I've also got a fourth rig upstairs that's decommissioned. Um, I've had a few cards die on me. Um, I had to sell off one of my RX 470s. And then, like, you can see the state of these cards is pretty bad. Like, my cards all got pretty wasted. Um, there's like a lot of dust and corrosion that got built up. You can see that like, you know, the there's a lot of like corrosion on the, uh, what's the word for the, the, uh, the capacitors. Uh, so I'm hoping that maybe, you know, I can get this card going again. Um, it's probably an easy fix, but that currently needs to be looked at, that GPU there. Uh, and then this one here is fully working. I've cleaned it. I've actually got this one ready for sale, but I'm probably going to look to mine with it. Oops. This card here is a Gigabyte uh, RX. Does it have it here? It's an RX 5600, I believe. Yeah. It's a 56 XT. From Gigabyte, and um, I, I like fully gave this card like a really nice clean. So you can see the P PCIe board's like actually really, really clean. Like a little bit of dust and a little bit of corrosion still present, but this card's fully working and it's ready to go. So I'm probably gonna look to um, I'm not sure what got on it. I think it's like salt. Yeah. Uh, I'm probably gonna look to um chuck that I think maybe on this rig uh, and currently you know I'm, I'm running a lithium so this rig here is pulling out uh, 2.47 uh, giga hash uh, and I reckon I can get around about five five giga hash a day off my setup because I've also got a Vega 56 upstairs so currently you know I'll be looking at around 6.5 lithium a day it's not it's not crazy amounts it's not crazy amounts of money but 
I'll just send this off for a bit. You know, it's not it's not crazy amounts of money, but it's definitely wor worth it. And I've just got an air duster to try and keep keep everything clean. Um, but yeah, this is the current setup that I got my small farm, and uh, yeah, I'll probably be doing some more, you know, like mining videos in the future. Um, but yeah, not not a bad little. Not a bad little basement mining mining farm, you know. I do encourage everyone to to get into mining if that if they're keen. I think it's um it's taught me a lot about uh, computers. Um, so yeah, I just hope you guys enjoy the, the little update of uh, 2023 mining. It is back. It is profitable, and um, yeah, expect uh, big things coming into 2024. I think when you know we got the Bitcoin halving coming up and i'm expecting the markets to potentially have a bit of a runaway you know uh bull rally uh so if that happens you know mining right now um all the way up until then which is another i guess 12 months away uh yeah you'll be setting yourself up really well uh within the market you'll probably be making a lot of money so yeah i would say get into mining if you're if you're keen because mining is currently profitable again and maybe stick to ergo if you're looking for a, a coin that's probably going to take off i'd say maybe maybe mine ergo uh but if not like currently what i'm doing is i'm actually converting a lot of my alethium into straight ergo because ergo is so cheap uh and then eventually when ergo has its price breakout i'll swap back to ergo and just mine straight straight ergo uh because i do think ergo is the coin to be holding but we will see. We will see. Uh, Cass. I just want to show Cass here. Cass is doing amazing today. Let's have a look at Cass. You know, Cass, Cass had a 11% uh, rally today, which was uh, very impressive. Um, I have been thinking about potentially swapping back onto Cass uh, to mine Cass. But uh, yeah, Cas Casper is uh, highly profitable right now. Probably more more profitable than Alethium. Um So yeah, uh, mining is back. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you like and subscribe. I'll bring uh, more mining video videos out to you guys uh, and potentially be talking a hell of a lot more about stocks and and gold and all sorts of things coming up. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video.